Mr. Ali, such a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> and uh, have been wanting to meet with you and discuss uh, cinema, so this is an honor. What does cinema mean to you? And in the larger sense of the word, what would you say cinema is? <laughs> well, cinema, as you know, is a la language of moving images and each person has his own journey to uh, capture and express. And for me, cinema is a means to an end. It's like I try to live certain things through through cinema, uh, my culture, my milieu, and the problems that affect me. You know? So I try to see how cinema could uh, be used to put things in a kind of a context, you know, in a in a kind of a story form, you know. Right. Your stories have, uh, you know, especially Umrao Jaan is the best known, but uh, you've covered an entire gamut with movies like Gaman, Zuni, Agman. Uh, what is interesting is that you speak a lot about, uh, you know, the lost worlds, changing culture and exploitation. Well, that's what pulls me, you know, that's what sort of tugs at my heartstrings. So, I try to capture them and I'd like to do it in a very kind of a stylized, aesthetic way, you know. Yes. And uh, somehow, I've, you know, chugged along and been able to do something. When you started out, you were working uh, at Air India. I was working with Air India yeah, for 11 years. I was for there. 11 years. Hmm. And then what made you sort of uh, move away from that into this world of creativity? Well, even there I had a creative job. Right. I was getting films made by other people. I was in a marketing job, designing publicity, buying paintings, etc. And I'm a painter myself, you know, so yes. that makes a difference. So I, when I was working there, I used to see the contrast between my life and the life of, let's say, uh, a taxi driver, you know, or migrants who've come from, left their homes like myself mm -hmm. and found a uh, kind of a occupation in the city yes. to make both ends meet. So I felt that was a kind of a, it had a kind of a emotional dimension to that uh, predicament. Mm -hmm. okay, what do people feel? What do they think? How, how they get disconnected with their culture? Right. How cities dehumanize them. So that was my main concern. Right. And that's how this film began to, Gaman began to take shape. You know? So as I said, film for me is a means to an end. It's a journey of my own uh, perception, my own feelings, and my being dra pulled into human helplessness. Yes. It's also a very fascinating world because. Uh, you know, cities are constantly changing and uh, rural migration continues to be such a, you know, it's, it's an issue it's, which, has, which we've not resolved yet. And it brings up so many different circumstances yeah. for people to sort of survive in, you know. But I think you need to emotionalize this, you know. Yes. <clears throat> you, you, you need to put it into a kind of a, uh, a larger artistic uh, canvas, you know, right. use poetry, music, sound, all these things speak about this heartbreak of the human situation in town and country. You know. So, you have to look at a very uh, holistic picture, a big picture, and there you try to uh, convey your, what shall I say, the issue that is bothering you, you know. Yes. Cinema, as uh, you know better than me, uh, is like one part art and then there is the market which uh, decides what cinema should be. Do you think we have, in India we have struck a balance of different kinds of stories that need to be told? I think we keep striking a balance and we keep losing the balance so that's, it's happening all the time. And I think a lot of interesting uh, storytellers have gone unsung also, you know. Mm -hmm. 
and a lot of people who are telling stories just for the sake of telling a story right have reached the sky you know so so that dichotomy is there right and we have to find our own level somewhere or the other you've never sort of uh, been dictated by you know what the market dictates what kind of movies to be made you told the stories that you wanted to tell is that easier now or was it easier in the past i think it's it was easier then it was easier now it's difficult then it's difficult now you know? okay <laughs> so very difficult to say you know right but uh, certainly things have become a little more i would i don't want to criticize the present sure. time you know because i can't say things have got dehumanized or become kind of uh, inorganic and artificial but nevertheless you know it's very difficult to find a strike a balance between let's say emotion mm-hmm. and uh, and a story you know yes you hold lucknow and avadh avadhi culture very close to your heart something that we see in the movies that you make um uh, now presently the younger generation of filmmakers are finding their voices about smaller cities you know which are set in bareilly agra lucknow so on and so forth hmm. uh, do you find uh, have you seen any of them what do you think of these new voices that are emerging i think they are good powerful relevant voices so each one as i said has their own journey yes and their own way of uh, uh, expressing themselves but important thing is that people should be rooted yes because unless you are rooted you can't uh, layer an idea you know idea has to be layered not just in a location right but in the milieu you know how important is it for a filmmaker to uh, should you you know this is always a debate should you have uh, gone through the experience yourself are those the stories that you can best tell or can you borrow a story and uh, make it led and nuanced i think you should have lived through some things you know and it makes a lot of difference mm-hmm. because uh, i mean i know it in many ways because i i have an interest in food and music and poetry and all that you know? and if it's in your blood stream it's more authentic and you can take licenses you know and you know where to stylize it you know Right. but if you don't have that in your you know in your system then if you it's very difficult to uh, you know you know stylize it you know you lose track of the whole uh, i mean you make the wrong take the wrong turns make the wrong uh, combinations you know right so but anyway that cinema has its own language you know, yes which has to be respected So the new age Hindi cinema, as we see it now, evolving. Uh, Shahid Yusuf has also made some very interesting yeah. movies. What is it that you find interesting about this new age Hindi cinema? I think uh, this got uh, good energy, powerful energy. It's got a strong, more, I mean, a stronger sense of uh, structure. Uh, I mean, it has a powerful sense of montage. You know. Right. I mean, it's. definitely pace here the the writing is very energetic and different so all those things are there right. it's not that uh, people like us can't uh, understand or relate to them or can't sure. do it that way you know? no i think it's just a different style or maybe a different school of film making at some levels not certain things always remain the same but is there anything the language is this will always be the same because it's question of how you stylize a subject you know yes you have to give it a you have to take people into a illusion you know cinema is all about creating an illusion out of an idea you know yes and make people believe that illusion true it's i guess that's why it's called you know magical because you yeah. create an illusion and yeah. you make people believe it's real and you can't create an illusion by being too artificial you know yes because today you fall in the trap of uh, computer graphics and vfx and all that which is okay up to a point but mm-hmm. 
that energy is not real you know what i mean right so anyway that's the way of the world that's the, that's the call of the need of the hour you know? when you were making uh, the films that you made like especially umrao jaan what what was it that sort of you know that you feel now in hindsight you feel that you really got it right you know i think the uh, basic thing was that the whole approach was very organic you know it was more tactile you know right everything was tactile you know and uh, you could feel the fabric you could hear the sound of that fabric you could you know you had a kind of a nostalgic connect with with textures you know what i mean that's right and how lighting could be used to make those textures uh, the moods that world, yeah all those the... so there was a throwback on on nostalgia right because the whole film moves through uh, times of the day seasons time, you know all kinds of things so there's a there's a kind of a uh, different way of feeling an emotion you know when you stylize a film you really go into a kind of a, a subliminal analysis of time space and in that uh, recreating a milieu you know mm-hmm. <coughs> and uh, i mean it makes a lot of difference how connected you are with nature you know like yes. i was making zuni in which i divided the whole film into seasons you know what i mean and divided her moods into seasons right then i criss crossed the seasons and the moods you know yes so we could create a texture of uh, of feelings which were i would say related to a season you know what i mean mm-hmm. so certain lights right. certain uh, kind of time of the day presents a kind of a Uh, feeling better than something else you know? so that is something that i think i've learned uh, as a painter right as a, as a person who's also deeply connected with a culture yes so i've been able to create my own sense of uh, visual grammar right which i cannot compare with anybody you know it's it's there you know maybe it's it's got its strength it's got its weaknesses but it is definitely there you know when yeah. i make a film there's a lot of visual grammar that i have acquired over years yes. which i put into uh, action you know you know you uh, lucknow and the avadi culture the poetry the urdu sher o shayari all this uh, you know sort of surfaces in your films and it's beautiful uh any th- new other or any new aspect of lucknow that you would like to sort of bring into your movies now well uh, <coughs> i think the angst of a place keeps changing you know and so i don't know where we are going who is teaching us aesthetics who is taking a, taking away our sense of beauty you know right so there's something going wrong somewhere yes i wouldn't say films are doing that but films are definitely doing something and uh, they are pretending they are doing nothing mm-hmm. i mean this whole soundscape right i mean we've just emerged as a, the as the noisiest nation in the world you know i mean yes and that's come from cinema in great in many ways you know mm-hmm. because there's nothing without music there right and music doesn't mean to say See, music is something that uh, spells feelings. You know what I mean? Right. Here you are just injecting music just for the sake of it. You know what I mean? Right. So the whole uh, feel for music is lost. So summing it all up, how important is culture for the you know better of hu- the good of humanity? Would you say it as a role? Culture is a very it's a, it's a very vital fragrance of mankind you know. Right. And culture is really um basically openness of 
the mind and the soul, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's so important. And culture is not about chauvinism. Right. Culture is about respecting cultures, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and that's how cultures evolve, by respecting cultures. Right. And seeing the beauty of cultures. Other cultures, Other different cultures. from your Yeah, own. I've been making a series of films on textiles and and craft mm -hmm. all over the country and each place I go, I'm just overwhelmed by the culture. Yes. Not that, I mean, I try to capture the beauty. Right. But uh, if you go there, you may not find it. Right. But somewhere there, it is in the layers of that culture, hidden, crumbling, you know, something. And this is a series that you're making about textiles of India. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm sure that's going to be like something to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be a very poignant uh, experience for students, for visitors, for designers, for everybody. Yes, I'm sure. I'll look forward to that one for sure. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ali, for meeting with us and for this quick brief interview. Thank you. Thank you.